Welcome to another enjoying a watercolor lesson. Today we're going to talk about how to paint this ballerina with watercolor. I already did the oil painting from the same reference. You can go to the Enjoying Art Magic channel to watch how I do it with the oil medium. Okay, let's take a look at the location, the big shape from here all the way coming up to this location. Oh, that in case I'm gonna from here all the way coming up. I'm gonna paint the inside a little bit later. So I'm gonna start painting the outside. I am going to have the very dark color in the background. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna take this color, start from the top. The Edge is very important. So now I'm gonna just use the color actually the only the Windsor red and the Windsor blue uh, green shade, and I just apply the color to create that uh, wet background. Okay. And if we can do it faster, and the color and the wet is gonna be a lot easier to control. There you go, right here. There you go, like that. I'm gonna see how those color look and how to bring this color in. And also can have a little water and lead the color in and maybe also Later, I can push that color out because of the, the wet. I'm going to have that color in over here. And here you go. Like that, have some little feeling of translucent. Yep. And take a look. Just with the economic. Uh, less for more if we can and also try to only use the uh, this one inch flat brush you can to see how much you can create and the edge you try to remain a little bit softer it does need to be a little bit lighter that let's get F a little bit a little bit more red over here too. Here you go. Okay. And a little bit color. Here you go. Like that. I'm gonna continue painting into the skin. So I'm gonna just get the yellow color a little bit over here. And that's as good for the skin tone. Have a little bit more blue in it. Here you go. Now I'm going to start putting the color right here. There you go. Like that. Coming in on this side. A little bit red. Onto this side. Not really that dark. That's just good. Oh, I can put the whole thing over there. I can paint around. There's the light shape for this. Show this strap. Okay, that's good. Right over here. Okay, onto this side. Okay, now quickly, I'm gonna have a little bit in tone over here. That's good, like that. And on the edge over there, I have a little bit more blue color. So first, have this color here first. And like this, I'm a little bit. Take a look on this side. See that leave a little light shape. Okay, the watercolor drives really quickly, so you need to act a little bit faster. Right, I'm gonna come back here to get a little bit red color right on the edge over here. Let it lead in, and there's a little bit more, a little bit warmer right here. And I can add a little color over here back in that a little bit. Let it softly growing. 
I'm going to have a little bit more blue color because the color now become a little bit gray. There you go, like that. Take a look at that hand. It's different from oil painting because oil, you can always come back to cover it. And watercolor, try to keep it translucent. And you have to paint around some lighter shape. Okay, that's good. And then take a look at the finger over here. Also, watercolor can paint even faster, right? That's good. And see that? That's, that's good. That's the finger. And then take a look on the other side. I have a little bit more blue color. There you go. It's great and fun if you can uh, have the freedom choosing from a different medium. And we're going to get a little bit red. Okay, here we go. Uh, leave a little bit light shape, a little bit dark shape, a little bit uh, blue tone. Good. Like that, the bottom over here, let's see that. Oh, two fingers in the shadow. Okay, that's good. Now I'll take a look on this side. I have a little big blue color because it's in the catch the shadow right here. Now here you go. And that's good. And now I'm gonna have the little big warm color right on the top. Actually, doesn't need to be. It just use the light shape. Expand this. Use the water. That's good. That. And take a look at inside this area. You can see that has the, that's the face. Actually, face a little bit darker in the shadow. Now have a little bit blue. It's sensitive to what how you mix the color. Is that blue or yellow or red? A little bit more this color or that color. But also sensitive to how dark the color would be. Like that should be darker, how dark that would be. And should it, should it use a little bit more red and the blue color? Go right over here. I'm going to put this, drop in a little bit darker color right here. That's good. Like that. And we'll come back a little bit later. Get a little bit blue color. Put a shoe over here. Put a little bit shape over there. Like this. Have a little bit shape over here. And then I have a little bit blue. You see how little color that you need. Look at my my uh, mixing area. That's a little bit darker at the bottom over here. Like that. That's all you need. Okay, that's a little bit darker. That's the bottom of the shoe. The dancing shoe. Okay. A little bit softer. That's good. Now I'm going to come into uh the leg so i'm gonna have this have a little bit red color right in the middle over here just touch it a little bit red and sit right here i actually can make the whole thing the same color and then i can cover uh by the blue color okay like that for now let's have that prepare now i'm gonna come back to it has a little blue color and the back over there and talk about this area see that a little bit blue color you can see a little bit separate color I have a little bit blue that's good and then it's need to see the value in this color and have a little bit red here but also it's the similar value you see that and down over here i have a little bit blue again like that okay, that's good i okay, have that color there it's nice. Have a little bit, little bit blue, and maybe feel a little bit more, little bit translucent. There's a little bit darker shape right there. And then the backs are already dry, so I'm gonna come back here to make a little bit red with a little bit blue, like almost like a little gray color over here. You can see that. There's talk about the structure. That's good. That yeah. and. And the back over here is supposed to be have a little bit more blue as well and see that there's a little bit blue over here 
and coming over here. Now I have a little big shadow and coming around over here. Now what with the light and dark and create the structure. And here you go. Now I'm gonna have a little bit red right over here too. Here you go. Now that's just the shadow side. Okay, a little bit soft there. There you go. That this is only the beginning. And I'm for the head. I'm gonna have a little throw a little brown color over there for now. And get a little bit blue and the red and that's a bit brown color. And just put the color over here. Leave a little bit light shape. Okay, here you go. And uh, the light shape. Okay, here you go. This side have a little super supposed to have a little bit blue. Right, here we go. Like that. That's the hair. Yeah, we're paying a little bit more details a little bit later when we come back. And for now, I'm gonna have a little bit darker color on this side. This is the shadow side of the head. A little bit darker. Okay, now the hair's there, and now I'm gonna come back, take a look at the skirt. Now I'm gonna use the uh, dry brush, and coming over here to soften some area. This is definitely a little bit too heavy. So I'm gonna just use this brush, make it a little bit softer. And we probably can do a couple more rounds before, and let's see, I'm gonna have a little bit light shape over here. I just using this brush, brush 45 degree to the paper and you can lift up some of the shape light shape you want and let's take a look at over here I'm gonna have this you got a little bit give it a little bit more time and you can lift it up and if it's not lifting up that much you can uh, you can make the color next to it a little bit darker and we we'll see it like a little bit lighter. It's all in contrast. Okay, I'm gonna soften those area. A little bit softer. That's good. And I'm gonna big soft over here. I like that a little bit soft edge over here. I'm gonna keep those top edges and now I'm gonna come back over here to give another round to the background okay I'm gonna have a little bit blue the, this present blue or the winter blue green shade and with the red color I'm gonna have another round okay here you go that let's take a look I'm gonna reshape it here you go coming over here that's good Reshape it. Here you go. That's good. Look at that edge. Beautiful. Just reshape it. And some you want to keep it, some you maybe let go. Here you go. That's good. I'm going to have something coming in over here. Like that. And then coming over here. That's good. That's beautiful. Okay, coming on this side. Keep a little bit soft color right over here. This is not like a coincidence. It, everything by design. Okay, coming over here. If you have a good idea and you have the technique to accomplish it, that takes two to get it. Okay, that's good. That. And now coming to the front over here, I'm going to make it a little bit yeah, somehow too much light. And I'm going to have this just have the color coming in over here. Softly. And here you go. Make it a little bit consistent. 
and to create, uh, say, achieve the look is very important. And coming over here. Now, coming to the back, this area again. Now I'm gonna come here, make sure that I have dark enough color. Um, dark enough right here. Need to make that a little bit more blue. Coming here, let's see, here we go. Okay, here we go. That. And that's good. Okay. Some of this sh soft shape, I'm gonna keep that. And some, I'm gonna let go. And here you go. That's darker. And the uh, shadow area. Going around. And I'm gonna also borrow some of the dark color uh, in the catch the shadow and I'm going to working into the painting in the surrounding. I'm gonna have a little big shape like that. That's good. I'm gonna put that dark color right there. That's good. And then here over here, I'm gonna tap on it, make a little dark color over there too. You see, I'm gonna say that right here on the face. And set a little dark color right over there. That's good. Right. Okay. And the top over here, I think that this get a little bit dry over here. So I'm gonna come back here. Okay, here you go. Another one. Okay. That looks just pretty good. I'm gonna have some color from here coming out like this. Okay, take a look on this side. That's good. Okay, now we are getting the color pretty nicely. I'm gonna have the little water over here, soften that coming down here. That's fine. And a little bit soft connection over here too. Have some soft connection. That's good. Let's take a look at that without the glazing. Okay, now I'm gonna come back with this brush. Now I'm gonna actually bring the color actually into here. That's the shadow. Okay, if that, that's good. And shadow in here. So the shadow over here. Okay, let's take a look at the shadow right over there seeing that that's good and a little bit soft edges and we're gonna have a little bit red and over here a little bit darker we can see a little bit edges here see that that's going into the area the warm color underneath that could be the face now actually I put a little bit Extra edges right over here. That's good. Okay, now I'm gonna soften this, and and in order to push the color away, you actually can. You need to have some color in here to push those color away. So I'm gonna have a little bit red color. I'm gonna coming over here. I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna have this color. Move that and add the red color in here and the color and the water actually push those that push that away and when I have this a little bit more coming over here that's just the shadow side of the arm that looks good that that's good I'm um, right here that's good and the same thing over here have a little bit more blue color on this side. I'm gonna put my brush this way. It's easier. Okay, here you go. With make that a little bit more blue, like a blending color. That's good. Like that. Make a little bit softer here. And and I'm gonna have even a little bit more, a little bit more details. And a little bit darker here too. 
uh, the shoes. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna come a little bit darker here at the little line. And that definitely at the wrong place. You need to lift that up a little bit. Okay, check that out. They're supposed to be uh, a little bit lighter. So take a look at here. That's good. I like that color. I'm gonna keep it like that. I'm gonna have a little bit uh, darker color and on the head over here. Here you go. A little bit darker at the bottom over here. So we're gonna gradually work into the head a little bit later, not right now. We still have a lot of stuff to do to make the dimensions right. And I'm gonna have this a little bit soft to come out. Let's put a little color connected in here. That's good. Okay, have a little bit red. Yeah, a little bit red, a little bit blue color, make it a little bit darker. I can see this color over here. That's the part of the shoulder. Here you go. That's good. Now I'm going to walk into the leg, um, the knee over here. I'm going to have the little bit dark color. Uh, here you go. Yes. Yes, here we go. Coming um, over here. Okay, that's good. Have the shadow coming over on this side. And here you go, like that. A little bit darker on this side. Here you go. Now I have to complete the dimension of the leg. You got a little bit darker over here, make it a little bit darker on the side over here, and coming down over here. That's good. And now it actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna have a little bit red over here, like that. The actually looks just fine, and a little bit softer, like that. Okay, that's good. And I'm gonna come back over here to give some suggestions like that. Okay, here you go. Yeah, like that, having the color coming out and some of them as you're leading the color in, that's just good, that's an accident. That's good accident, okay, here, like that. That's good. A little bit shape over here. You can see actually some shape like that. And you can see some of the color coming out. I think this is okay. It's not really too dark. Okay, that's good. Now I come back here to add just the... Now I'm going to take a look here. Now uh, that's good, right here. I got add a little uh, soft shape. Uh, look at it, it's, you don't have to make it exactly like that. It's as long as you have the impression. I'm gonna have this little gray color, a little bit blue. You got a little bit over here. And a little bit over here. You see, now I'm going to put a little lighter color. The middle tongue coming in here. That's good. A little bit shape on the outside. And you can look at it. Oh, did I do enough or do I do too much? Okay, I'm going to have a little bit softer inside over here. Like that, that's good. And I'm going to have a little bit, a little bit warmer actually seeing this edge. That's good, see that? That's interesting. And I'm gonna have this a little bit deep. See through that. And also the edge over here, a little bit darker right here. That's good. Okay, that looks pretty good. And half, I'm gonna clean up a little bit over here on the arm. This is a little bit too much. So now I'm going to have also the corner over here. Here you go. That. That's good. 
at the corner here. Okay, now it's get together a little by little. Okay, I'm gonna have this a little bit later and leave this little color here. That's good. I'm gonna have you got color there. I'm gonna have a little bit blue and right here, a little bit more blue. And seeing the tone on the back here, that's good. And actually, now I'm gonna work into even a little bit details here, right, right here. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have this and moving a little bit forward. See that little shape. And actually, at this point, I'm gonna have a little bit darker line. Here you go, that little darker line right here. That's good. That's good, right? Beautiful. Dark line. And now a little dark shape right here at the corner over here. And that's good. I'm gonna have that. That's just the dark area connected. And it actually can connect it to the outside. Okay. And then this can be a little bit softer coming into the lake. Now here you go. A little bit better. Maybe a little bit more red. Just a little too much blue. Okay, here you go. And add, just add the red color over there. Don't worry about it. Okay, that's good. That's good. And the inside over there have a little bit more blue. You can see that little bit blue right here. That's good. Like that. That's good. Now I'm going to continue working into some of the shape. The translucent shape. Okay, a little bit, just the blue color. And here you go, like this. Different layers, different fold. Here you go. Now I'm gonna have this, a little bit small shape over here. Here you go, give a little bit more contrast. And a little bit over here. Uh, coming down and a little bit closer to the end. I'm going to get a little bit more red color Okay, just a little bit more red connect that down over here a little bit more red that's blue Like that That's good a little bit darker right here Okay, have a little bit darker right here and a little bit darker Right over here. There you go. Uh huh. And this is a little bit darker. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's not much dark shape. That's only the floor. And that I'm gonna put this color right here. We can always can add that gap. In here, that's good. Like that. That's good. And we can also have a little suggestions of catch the shadow over there. And here you go. That's the catch the shadow on that. And we can add a little bit, a little bit red color in here, showing just the edge between this and the lake. That's just fine. I'm gonna have this also again one more time. Blend over to this side. Okay, now the lake looks just fine, and. A little bit of the shoe over here. Make sure it look like the shoe. And I'm gonna make sure I have a line over here. And here you go, a line over here. Yeah, going over. At this point, we're gonna add a little bit reflection on the floor. You can see that? A little reflection. Just lift it up. The reflection here. I'm going to set a little red color in here. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. That. Let's see this. And also a little bit over here too. But this hand. A little bit lighter. You see how useful this brush. I'm going to have this a little bit lighter here too. And that adds some reflection from the knee. Like that. And I'm going to have this lighter as well. A little bit lighter. This. That's good. And I'm going to have a little red color. Here you go. A little red color. A little bit thin red color. Here you go. You got to make it a little bit lighter in order to add the red color, okay? Otherwise, the red color, it just become darker color, okay? A little bit more red, like that. You see how I have to lift up that color in order to set the lighter color. Yes. Okay, now the reflection on the floor looks very nice. Alright, I think this painting now finished.